Hello friends, welcome back to another episode by Engineering Today, and hope you're all having a great time. We're back with some interesting SpaceX and Starship updates. In a much anticipated event, SpaceX successfully carried out the long-awaited static fire of Ship 25, marking a significant step towards another highly anticipated orbital test flight later this year. Prior to the static fire, SpaceX had shared on its official Twitter page that a spin prime test of the upper stage had been conducted. The static fire lasted for a mere six seconds. SpaceX employed six Raptor 2 engines on the Starship rocket for this test. The sequence of events leading up to the static fire was meticulously executed. At 15.02 Central Daylight Time, the road leading to the Boca Chica Starbase facility was closed, creating an atmosphere of anticipation. At 15.38, the pad was cleared, indicating that preparations were underway. Subsequently, at 17.35, venting of the Starship second stage began, followed by cryo-loading at 17.56. The tension in the air heightened when a siren blared at 17.01, signaling the impending action. Engine chill commenced at 17.04, preparing the rocket for the crucial moment. Finally, at 19.27, the static fire took place, accompanied by a small fireball in the center, followed by a larger one from the outer region. The static fire appeared to be a success, with the rocket performing as expected. Soon after, SpaceX confirmed the success of the test via a tweet. Prior to the official confirmation, dedicated onlookers had captured the test on video, showcasing large dust clouds rising from the test site. SpaceX's own footage provided even better views, revealing the top of the rocket with a swirling skirt of dust surrounding its base. SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, further amplified the excitement by posting a captivating image of the static fire on his personal Twitter account. The image quickly became viral, generating immense buzz and admiration among space enthusiasts. Elon Musk's accompanying message, key milestone completed for Flight 2, in preparation for the test, SpaceX meticulously loaded Ship 25 with several hundred tons of liquid oxygen and a smaller amount of liquid methane fuel. The process was carried out swiftly, taking approximately 90 minutes and resulted in a visually pleasing layer of frost forming wherever the cold liquid made contact with the rocket's steel tanks. It's worth noting that no frost appeared on the upper methane tank of the Starship, indicating that SpaceX had only loaded methane fuel into the internal header tanks responsible for storing propellant for landings. The presence of liquid oxygen in such a significant quantity suggests that it was likely used as ballast to alleviate the stress that Starship could exert on the test stand while being held down. The stress endured during this process was immense, particularly considering the upgraded Raptor 2 engines. When all six engines of Starship S-25 were fired for the first time, the thrust generated could have reached a staggering 1,380 tons, or approximately 3 million pounds of force. By the way, if you remember, in our previous video, we mentioned that Elon Musk participated in a Twitter space discussion with writer Ashley Vance, where he shared updates on Starship and Starlink. Today, we're excited to provide you with more details from that discussion. Elon Musk took the time to explain that numerous changes have been implemented since the last Starship flight on April 20th. In fact, there have been over a thousand changes made in total, significantly increasing the probability of success by approximately 60%. Looking ahead, the next Starship flight is expected to take place in approximately six weeks. Elon emphasized that the key factor for success relies on how well they achieve stage separation. This crucial moment in the launch process will determine the outcome of the mission. During the discussion, Elon also revealed a late-breaking change that's been introduced for the next Starship launch, the implementation of hot staging. This technique involves igniting the upper stage engines, while the first stage booster engines are still operational. SpaceX will gradually shut down most of the engines on the booster, leaving only a few running while simultaneously initiating the engines on the ship or upper stage. This maneuver is necessary to prevent the upper stage engines from incinerating the top of the booster. 
Interestingly, hot staging is a historical precedent in Soviet rocket history. It offers a significant advantage in terms of the payload to orbit ratio, with a conservative estimate suggesting a 10% improvement. Elon Musk explained the concept behind hot staging, stating that the rocket must continually thrust without interruption. Once the rocket stops thrusting, it begins to fall back to Earth unless it's already in orbit. To maintain non-stop thrust, it becomes crucial to start the ship engines before fully shutting down the booster engines. To accommodate this, SpaceX plans to add vents or extensions to the booster, primarily serving as an outlet for the super-hot plasma generated by the upper-stage engines. This vented extension will allow the upper-stage engine exhaust to pass through without causing any damage. Elon acknowledges that this particular aspect presents the highest risk for the next flight. To mitigate potential risks, protective shielding will be added to the top of the booster, ensuring the safety and integrity of the spaceflight during the staging process. Elon Musk further elaborated on the preparations, shedding light on a crucial aspect, the launch pad. To make it ready for the forthcoming launch, two thick plates of steel are being meticulously welded together. What sets this construction apart is the inclusion of water cooling layers, cleverly positioned between the steel plates. This innovative design resembles a colossal upside-down showerhead, ingeniously engineered to emit a powerful jet of water upwards precisely when the rocket hovers above the pad. This ingenious mechanism serves a critical purpose. It counteracts the immense heat generated by the rocket's booster. The goal is to leave the pad in considerably better condition than the previous attempt, indicating a continuous drive for improvement. Furthermore, SpaceX intends to optimize the launch process by reducing the time the rocket spends on the ground. To achieve this, they plan to increase the thrust weight, enabling the rocket to propel itself into space with greater efficiency. This strategic adjustment will undoubtedly contribute to a smoother and more streamlined launch sequence. Elon has also shared some fascinating perspectives on the challenges of reaching orbit and the significance of his company's endeavors. Elon emphasizes that there is a clear distinction between space and orbit, although many people tend to use these terms interchangeably. According to him, reaching space itself is relatively easy, commonly defined as crossing the boundary at 100 kilometers, or about 62 miles, above the Earth's surface. However, attaining orbit is an immensely difficult task. Even at the 100 kilometer altitude, an atmosphere still exists, and the process of achieving orbit requires overcoming the gravitational pull and the resistance imposed by this thin air. Consider the colossal starship, towering at around 400 feet with a mass of approximately 5,000 tons. It poses an immense challenge to place such a massive vehicle into orbit. Yet Elon Musk remains steadfast in his pursuit of SpaceX's mission to colonize Mars. Elon succinctly summarized the key metric of success for SpaceX, expressing his hope to achieve the remarkable feat of transporting 80% of Earth's mass to orbit. This ambitious goal showcases the company's dedication to revolutionizing space exploration and its relentless pursuit of technological advancements. And that's all for now. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button to motivate us. Are you also counting on the SpaceX flight test too, like us? If so, what do you think about their recent preparation? Let us know your thoughts and opinions about Starship and SpaceX in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for joining us on this journey.